This game is rated M for Mature. Beauty and Beast's apartment. The Woodland Building. Noon. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I Nothing in the foreground yet again. You just checking, just checking. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it was. You know what was going on, Beast. I, have I really don't want to go in there right now. But it's the principle. I don't want to interrupt their their you arguing. I hate interrupting people that that are arguing. That go sounded kind of what's the word? I'm um, anyway. I don't know what the word is. Anyway, let's go in. And they stopped talking, so hey. Be careful with the arm, Big B. It it's. It kind of broke. Oh. Hi. What do you want? You called. Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Hey, come on. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been... Surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? It's. It's me. me. Who's at the door? Are you gonna let me in or what? Let's just talk about this. Please? It's your pal. Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Okay. Can I talk to you in private? Yes. Let's. God damn it, you two. Hmm. It is blocked. Damn it. Hmm. Also, where's my mouse? I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I don't see my mouse. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hmm. I just don't think we can trust you. Maybe it's Not just me or the game is, I don't know, being weird. You run and call I don't know what the electric well, bill is for that thing. You do. He was keeping secrets I for bet him. it's really damn high. The electric thing. bill is too damn high. Wanna keep fighting about that? Or do you wanna try to sort this out? Don't poke it. It might fall or break. Own. Why'd you do that? We're out of money. Nice and pictures. That's why I hmm. Talk about living in the past. Finish this later. They look so nice. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Why knock on the thing? Oh well. Whatever. Detective thing, maybe. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place? It looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. What? what I'm are just you saying. To say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. I bet. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just I trying want to, to help, do really. Best for us. I want to That's do good I've for all of you. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What? What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen you what would, happens. but I'm not gonna let that happen. I don't know if it's worth it, if you can't give us certain assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? Yeah. We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Phone call. 
I think you guys should get that. Not me. Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Aw, um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> we're gonna get that. And we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beach <laughs> and we'll get back to you in... What a great message. What the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. I need really, to know. I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. You do know I'm on a murder case, don't you? And as far as I'm concerned, wasting my time is an obstruction of justice. You want me to arrest you? No, Bigby. I'm sorry. Please. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. Ugh. We owe some money. What a surprise. Finally. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Please help me out here, guys. I won't let anything happen to you. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Aha! The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where yep. I went. Is that a person? I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Eh? Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess hmm. he's hit hard times too. So maybe that's There's how Bloody Mary got around. it, and that's what he was doing when we saw him in the mirror. Marketable skills. What can Bloody Mary must go through there? She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. Maybe. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Yeah, I don't want to do that, but still... Guys, I have to do something. You know that butcher shop? The cut above? Huh? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. Aha! And I don't think it's meat in the packages. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the crooked man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. Hmm. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's hmm. still not enough. Auntie Greenleaf got to something work. from the Butcher. Might Especially be that guy. She was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. No shit! But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. I'm smelling myself a few options. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I do understand, but still... No. No. Probably not. So, where are you going? 
If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. That is an excellent question. Choice time? Yep. The lucky pawn or the butcher shop. The lucky pawn, I might meet Jack there. Also saw some of that in the in the preview of things to come last episode. And that might lead directly back to beauty. The butcher shop might lead directly back to the beast. And there I might run into Bloody Mary a bit more than the Lucky Pawn. Hmm. Again, I'm sensing consequences. But if I go here, it's it might track back to Beauty. Over here, it might be the Beast. So, if anyone had to get in trouble, I sort of kind of think it might it should be Beast, because Beast can at least somewhat handle himself compared to Beauty. Not that Beauty can't handle herself, but if someone had to go into a fight, I think Beast would be the better one in a fight. I'm just saying, he is a Beast. That... A Beast sounds like a stronger fighter than Beauty, or Belle, or whatever. Stop hating on me! I'm not... I don't have anything... In, I don't have anything against girls. I'm just saying. Jesus. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Indeed. Consequences. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? How? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Well... Can you help us out? Maybe. I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I hope I will. The Cut Above Butcher Shop. Tupman Street. Afternoon. Or be a cigarette. No smoking. Oh. Whoops. I'll be nice. Don't want to get in too much trouble. Oh look, there's a piggy! And so many things to look at! Any awesome beverages? There's cola. Just for that. Cheers, everyone. Mmm, um, that was good stuff right there. Bacon? I see bacon! Give me bacon! Mmm. I've had bacon today, on pizza. It was delicious. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. Or there's a secret system to it all. Right. And yeah, not really any customers right now. You support the NYPD. Good for you. Ugh. Not very appetizing. Not at all. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Would any eat that? And if anyone would, who? I'd like to know who would do that. Yeah, not right now. Um, I probably shouldn't do that. Again, don't want to get in too much trouble by walking over on the other side of the counter. Hello! Bigby Wolf? Hi. <clears throat> Well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Well... Um, let's see... What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. A lot of frozen stuff. Flank steak, on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow, if you like. Um... Sirloin, ribs... Johan. I want to know exactly what's going on here. 
We sell meat. <laughs> Did you want to buy something? Not <laughs> really. <clears throat> what you see is what you get. Just meat. You don't find anything else. I'm not so sure we about just, that. Uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk-up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But you shouldn't uh, if there's just meat around here. here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. Good. I... Sheriff, I... Why so shaky? Did you hear that? No. What? You pressed the oh, button. I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. No. Nope. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Butcher? I just have to go see. Oh, hell no. I'm going in now. Yep. He pressed Shit. the button. He's warned someone. Okay. Great. It's dark and there's a whole lot of meat hanging all over the place. Here, I'll be right out. I don't care. Where are you? Bloody Mary, please don't be here. I don't want to fight you in this horror movie setting. Something's gonna happen here. What's the problem? I'm just coming back to give you a hand. Yeah. I'm, I'm nice. Sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Uh huh. Sure. Come on, damn it. Hmm. You are. You're such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Tell me the truth. I don't want the bullshit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What you doing? Kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. Oh, is she now? <laughs> Why? What you got there? He's gonna get me killed. Hello. How you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I, I don't want to die. If you just please, work with please me. Don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I just want some answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you can keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice know. to make in the moment. I guess Easy, so, but even still, when they got you on the hook in the deep freeze. Just open the door, Johan. Won't be your problem anymore. I, I can't. Why not? What's back there? I don't know. I, honest. You do I, know. I, I've never been back there. It's locked from the other side. Look, uh -huh. I, I just worked the front. That's all I'm no, supposed to do. No, don't do that. I've, I've actually, I haven't been back there in years. So you are a part of this. You've been bullshitting me this whole time. Where's Mary? Where's the fucking crooked man? So help me, I will put your head through that damn door! Tell me what I need to know, now! I don't know. I'm not part of their crew. Crew? But you're working for the them. The Crooked Men's people. Jersey Devil, Dean Dumb, and that mental case Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real Butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. Uh -huh. you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. Yeah. I knew this would happen. Didn't Maybe I wasted a bunch of time, there but would be the day. let's not waste any more. Open up. Also, this is probably very bad for my body. Up we go. The hell is this? A chemistry lab. What are they brewing in here? Okay. I'm curious now. And what is with the stock? 
Ah, different things and chains. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Are you sure? Warning lights. Uh huh. This business. It's all yeah, I've ever. Why'd had. you go back here if you haven't been here before? I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? No one told me anything. It hasn't been easy for me. You, you it think hasn't I been live easy for anyone. So shut up. I needed help. All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? I need to have a look around. Aha! This box looks familiar. Hello, glamour things. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? I did. So do that. Now what's with the shackles? James. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Duh, but still. The witches who do all the magic, maybe? Could be. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. Obviously. Let's, I don't know, have a look at this. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. What are you doing? Don't you see what's going on here? With all these raw materials, it looks like he could process them into just about any kind of magic. He's got all he needs. The gear. And slave labor to work it. Yep. He's gonna pay. So these must be the orders. Hello. He's got his hooks into everybody. It's pretty clear how. Oh yeah? How? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Indeed Things he is. Going on here. And indeed he is. When I get my hands on that crooked bastard, I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. He did. Yep. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. The mirror? That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah. Well, I would like if it mirror, wasn't I'm broken, you dumbass. Because he stole a piece. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. He probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. Huh? Where? The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Mm-hmm. Do you really think this is gonna be all right? Of all this stuff in here, I do know one thing. That's his icon, his symbol. What kind of a guy uses a torture device as his icon? <laughs> the kind of guy who isn't gonna be understanding about Big B Wolf showing himself in. True. So tell me this, what the hell am I supposed to do now? 
I'm gonna have to spend the Run rest of my short life or something over like my that. shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. And apparently I'm gonna go smoking again. Ta-da! I'm nice, but still a jackass. Well, we got something. Now hopefully the consequences in the lucky pond won't ruin that.